How's it going everyone? Today we are back with some more masochist mode. We're going to get to the Eater of Worlds in just a second here because I do want to explain what I've done off screen and that is basically just get some reforges and upgrade Spectre Boots and of course get more buff potions and all that. Dang, why did that have to hit me? Now oh, I gotta wait. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna spawn it in once I'm full health. But yeah, that's all I've done and we're gonna get right into it. Also, we're gonna use the worm food because my brain wasn't working in the last episode, so I completely forgot this was a thing. Because uh, I never use it. I always just do the orbs. So, yeah, that's that's what we're going to do. Alright, we're going to do it now before anything else spawns in. We're also going to buff. Okay. So, if we're up here, I think we have a fairly solid chance of doing this. See, this is how this was supposed to go last time. <laughs> but it didn't, it didn't quite work out that way for us, unfortunately. But here we are. We're back. We're back. We're going to take it out. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully. Because once it, when it splits, maybe is it going to... I don't know. We, we, sh we seem to be doing fine so far. But I'm afraid because they do a lot of damage. <laughs> so I just don't want to mess with them at all. Also, there are a ton of eaters. This, that's weird. Okay. Uh, get away from me. Oh my god, there's so much happening. Okay, okay, okay. Why are there so many eaters? There's not supposed to be so many eaters. Oh, so much for the calming potion, dude. So much for the calming potion. Oh my god. Oh my god. Die. Um, okay, good. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. We did it. We did it. That was so close. Okay, I don't know how I did that. I just went into like mega tryhard mode and uh, <laughs> I guess that's all that's all it took. So yeah, there you go. That's the eater and it's insane. <laughs> it's actually insane. Okay, I don't actually know what we have planned for the next boss because well, I'll get into that. We do want to equip this though. What do we replace? I guess the tsunami in the bottle. I don't think that's too important. Honestly. I think we'll be okay. Um, what else? We got some crates. Okay, so I want to talk about the crates real quick. Uh, basically, I've decided that I'm just going to open the crates. Because you get them from every boss kill. And it doesn't matter. It's not only the first time. Which means I can just go back and grind these out before hard mode. Which is the reason why I wasn't doing it immediately. We've got the Vile Thorn, which is pretty cool. Uh, also, I want to go over the fact that there are things called enchantments in this. Which I knew I didn't realize the significance of and how to get them though. Here's an example of one. It's called the Iron Enchantment. And it requires the Iron Armor, the Shield of Cthulhu, the Iron Sword, Iron Anvil, and then this Butterfly. But, I deleted- I just trashed my Iron Armor thinking I was done with it as soon as I got the silver stuff. So now I know, <laughs> now I know to keep it because there's probably a silver enchantment too, right? Yes, there is a silver enchantment. So, there are these enchantments and they do different things. So, some of the sword familiar. Uh, that's scales with minion damage. So, those are some of the things that we uh, we can check out. So, we'll probably be doing that this episode, actually. Because I do want to look into that. But first, before we get too ahead of ourselves, I want to make the our armor. So, I want to make the demonite gear. The shadow, shadow grease and all that good stuff. We actually only need two pieces. Because we, I'm looking for the furnace, and I can't remember where I put it. Here it is. Uh, so yeah, we we only need the top two. What did I use? I hope that was like a mush. Okay, it was a mushroom. Good. <laughs> Good. I need to get those out of my inventory. They're so annoying. All right, here we go. We're gonna do that. We have all the bars we and will ever need. Well, that's a lie, actually. We're gonna need more eventually, but we'll do that, and then we'll get the helmet, and we're good to go. Now it's gonna look a little weird. Actually, no, it looks fine. Doesn't look doesn't look bad. So what we're gonna do with this armor is we're gonna stash it away for later. Now, like that. Good. <laughs> and we well get our like storage figured out. Uh, I do have magic storage, so I'll be 
fixing that in the near future. I just don't know when. I think we can fight the Brain of Cthulhu, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can fight this. So I'm going to head back over to the arena. We're going to fight the Brain and see what's kind of happening with that. Because apparently, we could have actually fought the... We could have fought the Eater, just like here. Like, it doesn't have to be in the Corruption. So, yeah. Apparently, the mod does that. Or maybe the mode. I actually don't know which. <laughs> I don't know what does what. But, yeah. So, we would have had that option. So, because we have this option, we can actually just use this and fight the Brain. Oh, I bought the wrong one. We can't use this. Okay. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, I don't... Oh, I know what I have to do. We could have done this. Okay. This is what we need. So, all you have to do is get the... It's from the mod, because I've, I've done this before. So basically, the if you get this red stained spine, which is different than the bloody spine, it will make it so you can spawn the brain anywhere, and you're not restricted. The same thing could have been done with worm, worm food. It becomes like wormy food or something. So yeah, that's that's what we could have done. So now I'm going to go fight it in the corruption arena, and then we're going to we're gonna see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. I don't know. I don't know. We're, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm excited, because... To tell the truth, I haven't fought this boss in a very long time. No. 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 Why? Why do you do this to me? Why? Should we do it during the Blood Moon? I don't see why not. It's only three gold. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do I care if it's a bad idea? We already buffed. So let's just do it. Let's do it. I don't care. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, it's being on us. Okay. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, God. Okay. I can't see it, though. That's the issue. Why did I do this? <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? All right. This is the easy part, though. This is the easy part. Uh, we also got a bunch of Eater of Souls just, like, lurking about. Which is not exactly ideal. Uh, let's get some more water. Oh, my God. No. It confuses you. <laughs> no. No. That's, that's, that's not okay. That's not okay. I'm, I swear, it looks like I'm doing fine, but I'm just, I'm not moving where I want to be moving right now. It's, a, it's, it's ending up working out. Also, there's five of them. There shouldn't be five of them. Okay. Okay, to tell the truth, this was really easy, but I think it's only because we have, like, our gear and stuff. <laughs> I think it's only because we have our new gear and all that. And also the fact that uh, I don't know, but the confusion thing was really messing with me. But that did feel easier for sure. Even with all these mat- these, uh, Eater of Souls. I was about to say man eaters. Different- very different things. Okay. Uh, let's head back. Alright, cool. So that's done. Now we could, if we have more Demonite, we can make more upgrades and increase the space even more. Right now it's a total of 320, so that's good enough for now. I'm not too worried about that. So we can put all this stuff away. And what's next? So next up, we have Queen Bee. So we have the Queen Bee to do. Now, I I have never really been all that good at this fight. So I'm kind of scared in masochist mode what this thing's going to do to me. Uh, so because of that, we're going to make sure we prepare accordingly. So what does that mean? Well, that means I'm going to try and get the first enchantment. Well, I don't know if this is the first, but we're going to get the iron enchantment. I don't think anything will come from the copper one. I think it's just going to be outclassed. I, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I don't think the damage is going to scale in any way, although I could definitely be wrong. That should be all the iron we need. All right, here we go. Iron broadsword. Boom. Good. So everything is there. We're good. We got the helmet and all that. Boom. I'm just going to put it in here for now because, well, we can't do much with it as of now. So, what can we do in the meantime? Okay, you know what? You know what we're doing? I think, I think I'm going to make an arena for Queen Bee. Yeah, that's what I do. All right, so I'm going to make an arena because we have to wait for, we have to wait for daytime for the butterfly to spawn. Otherwise, we can't even get that thing anyways. I'm going to make the arena. We'll be back. We'll get the enchantment. Then we'll probably fight Queen Bee. So that's that's what we're going to do. All right. I will see you all in a bit. All right. Cool. We're ready. Let's teleport to the jungle. You're going to buff up. And we do have a shine. We do have a night owl. We do have uh, things with common potion. Is what I'm trying to say. So the spawns won't be as high. So let's, let's do this. Uh, what is that color? <laughs> it's like purple. 
I have a danger sense on, so hold on, let me turn that off. Where's where's the danger sense? I don't even know what it looks like. Uh hold on. Shine hunt hunter, that's what I meant, not danger sense. Oh, but I still can't really see the boss, can I? Oh no. You got a, you have a lot of uh you shoot a lot of stingers. Although that's fairly normal, all things considered. I'm not hitting the boss. Stop why hold on. Uh, not this one. This one. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, I guess this is better, because... <laughs> everything else is missing, but this will for sure guarantee some hits. So, we're gonna use it while we can. Or when we can. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Nice. There's some damage. We're looking good. So far, everything seems the same. So far. Oh, that's different. Okay. That was like a circle of... <laughs> that was a circle of stingers. Being fired our way. Uh, again, nothing too crazy, though. So far. Oh, there we go. That's something crazy. <laughs> Little baby queen bee. Are those projectiles in front of it? Please tell me those were not projectiles in front of it. Because that makes it more annoying to dodge. Now, do I have to kill it? I probably should. I just don't know if I should prioritize it or not. Oh god. Okay. This is getting crazy. Yeah, I should kill that thing. I think. Unless this was another one. But I don't think it will. Okay, it died. Alright. Okay, can you charge me? Oh no, it did spawn another one. Okay. Or did it? What is this? <laughs> no. What the hell are you doing? What stop this. Stop this. This is not cool. This is not cool. I don't care what anyone says. You should not be this hard. <laughs> I was about to say they replaced, like, they just completely got rid of the uh, b little baby bees attacks. I have to say that now because there's, like, royal subject bees, which are, like, really big. That attack is really cool, actually. I really like it. I think I'm just going to ignore the royal subjects because they're just going to spawn more anyways. So I'll do my best to ignore them. <laughs> as hard as that is. Uh, it's a lot harder to dodge attacks like this without wings. Because <laughs> it, it reminds me of the Providence attack. Oh no. Oh no. I gotta focus. Hold on. Hold on, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead. I already died. Yeah. <laughs> the poison was gonna get me. I need that enchantment. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait... I'm just gonna chill, because that, that Queen Bee fight was kind of crazy. Uh, so, I would like to prepare a little bit better. I have tried the boss a couple of times, but have failed. So, in the meantime, we have got the the butterfly. This is actually a new day of recording, which is why there was a cut there, and, and every, you, you get the point. So, I've tried it a few times. Nothing's really happened. I tried the mini shark. It didn't really work. I don't know what I was expecting. It's not what we're looking for. Um, I'm thinking I looked back though because I've actually edited that part of the video and the musket has been doing some good damage It's been doing out of everything. It's been doing the best even if I don't hate it that much when I do hit it It does a good amount of damage. So here's the plan. I'm going to make this thing <laughs> by thing I mean enchantment I also want to check take a look at the copper one because I know I said it wasn't really that good But it might be good. And I want to see for myself if that is the case so, I don't actually know how to make. Maybe we can't make. Well, I think we probably could. Demon altar, yeah. So, we should have everything in our inventory. Yep. Yeah. And then, this is going to replace our shield of Cthulhu. Because basically, right. Oh, that's six defense, though. <laughs> that's gotta hurt. That's gonna hurt our defense. But, you know, it's okay. It's all good. I think. What does this even do? Hold on. Let's, let's see what this does before we get too ahead of ourselves. Uh, Iron enchantment. Strike, okay, that's, allow this, the player to dash into the enemy, so that's normal. Right click to guard with your shield, you attract items from a larger range. So that's all pretty cool stuff. Nothing on the offensive side though, which is kind of, not worrisome, but the only thing that I would have hoped for. Uh, cause that's where we're lacking, but the shield might be good too. I just don't know how we're gonna use that. So, Alright, here we go. Iron enchantment, we got arcane, which kinda helps, but it's not what we're looking for. So it says right click to guard with your shield. And we just, like, become tank mode. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get back up top. Alright, so if we right-click. If we right-click. Ready? Boom. 
We uh, we bulk up and we just we just take the hit. I th think. Oh yo. Okay, so it slows you down, right? It slows you down, but not not in the air. I don't think. So we can just hold right click. No way. Wait, guys, 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 guys. I think this protects us from the debuff. It does. We're not getting a debuff. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what happened? What was happening there? Why wasn't I not getting the debuff before? Hold on. I, we, this needs this. This calls for more testing. Give me a second. Uh. Yeah, that time I got it. Now I'm getting it. This is. Oh, but it doesn't last as long. Oh no, it does. I don't know, dude. What does it do though? Like. Oh yeah, so it just we just reduce the damage we take by a lot. Okay. Um That's pretty cool. I think that'll be really helpful actually. And because of the fact it does slow you, right, while you're guarding. Um But it's in the air you're not that slowed, as I was saying. So I think this should be okay. I do want to check out the copper enchantment. So we're just gonna do this. Also, on another note, I tried getting the Bezor and doing the queen bee fight it turns out that it's actually immune or no no it it's not immune i was trying to be immune to the poison but it's a different debuff so that didn't work so that was kind of dumb on my part we can't actually get this yet this copper enchantment because we need wire and that is post skeletron right so maybe we're just gonna have to do this <laughs> that's what it looks like um we can get a B in my nation. And we're gonna go do this again. We're gonna do this again. That's what it does. Okay, when you... <laughs> I just noticed this. When you right click, uh, your def our defense is increasing by... Tw oh. Guys, I... F or no. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Alright, so when we right click, our defense increases by 20. Uh, which is insane, actually. Now, the only thing is, again, it's the venom. It's like the actual damage over time that's getting me, and it's not actually the, the hits. The hits aren't doing much at all. It's the venom. That just stacks up, and I don't really have a way of becoming immune to it, because like I said, it's a different debuff. The Bizarre wasn't working. We're going to use the musket, because like I said, this was doing the best. Out of all our weapons, this was doing the best. Now, we're just going to get right into it, because... Uh, I think that, or maybe it wasn't doing the best, maybe I'm completely mistaken, but, <laughs> I think so, I, th that's what it looked like, no, 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 <laughs> you need to chill, it's so strong though, like, this debuff is just insane, so I have to just not get hit, <laughs> and that's easier said to done with all, easier said than done, not too done, uh, with all these projectiles and extra enemies, and it's just so difficult, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Especially since I can't even hit the boss half the time. So it's just like, okay. Nice. Alright. We're doing it. I, Kinda. Not Okay. That's not good. Are you kidding? How am I supposed to dodge that? <laughs> Okay, no, stop this at once. <laughs> no, no, no more, dude. It's, what? Oh god, oh god, oh no. I'm gonna have to get some like, Hellstone gear, dude. <laughs> if I even can, I might not be able to. In this mod, that spherical attack is so. Un uh oh, oh, we're safe. We're directly underneath it. That's good to know. There's so many stingers. <laughs> what do I and now there's three of them. And and now there's three of them. And now there are well four if you include the actual queen bee that's shooting a barrage of stingers my way. Why is this a thing? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay. Drop. Oh my god. Just a little bit longer. 
Come on, heal. Heal. Heal, damn it. Damn it, heal. Oh, I almost got hit there. I don't want to be this close. I never said I wanted to be this close. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. I think I've already died. I, I already died. Dude, I get so close. I get so close. And then I just... It's just over. It's just over. Okay. Oh, I need I need a better weapon. I need some is there anything that tracks right now? I don't think that's a thing. I don't think there's any tracking weapon at this point in the game. I the things that come to mind are like Amazon. That could be good, but it could just not be helpful at all because the Queen Bee probably is going to stay too far away the whole time. Uh we have no tr access to tracking bullets. There's no tracking magic yet. There's no tracking swords. And all that stuff, so, like, I don't know what to do. How do I kill this thing? <laughs> like, I get really close. Maybe I just have to keep on doing this until I get it. So, here's the plan. I'm gonna get warding on everything uh, for next episode. This is where I'm gonna end it, because this is just, like, too much. <laughs> it's too much right now. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get warding. We're gonna do that, so that'll be an extra four defense there, four defense there, plus eight, plus twelve, plus two more, so it's plus fourteen defense to our total. So we'll be at uh, thirty, I mean not thirty, forty-one, right? Plus twenty should be sixty-one, so we'll have sixty-one defense when we right-click, and then maybe, oh I know, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to just flood our into our whole arena over there. It's going to be full. It's going to be chock full of campfires and heart lanterns. And, well, I can't use heart statues yet. So, I guess that's it. But we'll have those. We'll have regeneration potions. Uh, I, I think that's the only way to increase... Oh, and maybe we'll get, like, a regeneration... Band of regeneration. Somehow, if we can. Uh, that would be great. Although, I don't know what I'd replace it for. That might be a push, the band. Or, maybe I'll replace it for this. Because this isn't doing as much, honestly. I think the regeneration is going to be better. Because I don't remember utilizing this a whole ton. I don't think so. Uh, okay, well, that's going to be it for this episode. We are about at 42,000 subscribers as of this moment. I think we might have hit it as this video goes up. So that would be, that'd be pretty awesome. Thank you all for the support on this series. It's actually been insane. And thank you for everyone that is new around here and has, and has subscribed. And of course, all of you that are already subscribed and have been watching my stuff for a while now. Thank you all very much. It's amazing to see. It's amazing. I'm glad you guys are all enjoying it as much as I am. Um, next episode, gonna kill Queen Bee. We're gonna take on Skeletron. I have no idea how that's gonna go. I'm kind of scared. But we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're, <laughs> we're gonna do it. So with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one.